Hey guys, what's up? Jed here, welcome to another video. In today's lesson, we're gonna be learning how to solve quadratics by completing the square. And this is the more difficult version of this topic where the coefficient of x squared, number in front of x squared, is greater than one. In this case, it's three. Now, in order to attempt this topic, you need to know how to complete the square. So if you don't, I've left a link in the description below. So definitely check that out if you need to. Also, at any stage of this video, if you feel like you're learning or understanding the topic and you'd like to support the channel, leaving a like or subscribing will definitely help us out. So I really appreciate that. All right, let's begin. So question one, part A. We are being asked to write the following in the form. A, x plus b squared plus c, where a, b, and c are integers. So whole numbers that can be positive or negative. That's what the word integer means. Now, if you don't know, this form here, this a brackets x plus b squared plus c is what a quadratic expression looks like after you have completed the square. So they're essentially asking us just to complete the square with this quadratic expression here, 3x squared plus 6x minus 1. So let's begin. The first thing you're going to want to do is factorize the highest common factor. That's a number, not a variable. You want to factorize the highest common factor that's a number from the first two terms. So in this case, it's going to be 3. So I'm going to factor out 3, and then we're going to have x squared plus 2x, close brackets, minus 1, just like that. And now for this next step, you're going to want to complete the square on these two terms here. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to have a 3 on the outside of my square bracket, and then we're going to have a curved bracket. And the reason you want a square bracket and a curved bracket is just because it distinguishes it. You can have two curved brackets if you want, but I prefer a square bracket than a curved bracket. Okay, so let's complete the square on the x squared plus 2x. We know it's a single bracket with an x plus half of this number here, which is 1. And then close bracket squared. I'm then going to subtract this number here squared. In this case, it's 1. So 1 squared is still just 1. Close the square bracket. I'm now going to bring down this minus 1 here. For the next step, you want to expand the square brackets by multiplying this 3 on the outside onto this expression here and this constant one here. So that looks like this, 3x plus 1 squared, and then 3 times 1 is 3. And that's all you need to do, just write it like this. Now bring down the minus 1. Okay, now we have one more step, just to simplify this minus 3 minus 1 at the end here. So we get the following, 3x plus 1 squared, and then minus 3 minus 1, is minus 4. Okay, there you have it. We have completed the square for this expression here. So we can see that a is 3, b is 1, and c is negative 4. Okay, let's move on to part b. Part b says, hence or otherwise, find x when a brackets x plus b squared plus c is equal to 0. So it's essentially asking us to solve the quadratic expression when it is equal to 0. Okay, so let's write out our quadratic expression, which is going to be 3 brackets x plus 1 squared minus 4, and we are going to equal it to 0. So now we want to isolate the x. The first thing you're going to want to do is get rid of this minus 4, and we're going to do that by adding 4 on both sides of this equation. So plus 4 there, plus 4 there, and this is how I show my working out personally. So the minus 4 cancels out with the plus 4, leaving us with 3x plus 1 squared, and 0 plus 4 is equal to 4. Okay, the next step is to get rid of this 3 here. Some of you might want to square root first to get rid of this square, but I wouldn't recommend that as you're going to have to square root everything on the left-hand side, including this 3. It's best to just get rid of the 3 first that's being multiplied onto this expression. So 3 is being multiplied onto this expression. So to get rid of a 3 that's being multiplied, I'm going to do the opposite, which is divide by 3 on both sides of the equation. And this is going to give us 3 divided by 3, which is 1, leaving us with x plus 1 squared. You don't need to write the 1 on the outside. And this is equal to 4 over 3. Now the next step is to get rid of the square by square rooting. So I'm going to square root both sides of the equation, just like that. And of course, square rooting, something that's being squared, cancels out the squaring, just leaving us with x plus 1, which is equal to plus or minus 
the square root of four over three. Now I explained in the previous video that if you square root a variable or an expression being squared, it gets rid of the square. However, when you introduce the square root on the other side with a number, it introduces a plus or minus in front of it. And this is by definition, and you must remember this. Okay, for the final step to isolate the x, I'm gonna get rid of this plus one. So I'm gonna subtract one from both sides, minus one, minus one. And this is gonna leave us with x is equal to minus one plus or minus the square root of four over three. Now this is how I like to leave it with my whole number on the left and my root on the right like this. Just a heads up that this root four over three is not in its simplest form. So you should always leave everything in its simplest form where possible. However, that's a different topic known as thirds. And we're not gonna cover it in this lesson, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it like this. Now there's one more step here. I'm going to separate this final part into two equations, one with a plus and one with a minus. And that's really where the plus or minus comes into play. So that looks like this, x is equal to minus one plus the square root of four over three, and x is equal to minus one minus the square root of four over three. And for those of you that really want to simplify the root part here, it's gonna give us x is equal to minus one plus two root three over three, and x is equal to minus one minus two root three over three. And as I said before, in the exam, you will be expected to simplify your final answer as much as possible. If you don't know how to simplify this part, don't worry about it. We will cover it in another lesson known as thirds. And if you don't know how to simplify and you haven't learned it, it's best to just leave your answer as root four over three, just in case you try and simplify it when you don't know how and end up getting a completely wrong answer. Anyway, guys, that's how you solve quadratic equations by completing the square. Thank you very much for watching the video. Take care.